All right, folks, we are in Toronto hanging out with these folks, Blackie Jacket Jr. These fucking cats rock. That's all I can say is plain and simple. These guys know their shit. This is a good intro. Yeah, well, I mean, I try my best, right? Um, you guys aren't your typical country band today. When we talk about country, we talk about maybe pop country, you know, seems yeah, to be yeah. uh, commercially... Yeah, well, I level. think we're a little unfamiliar with that yeah. territory. We're yeah. sort of harkening back to something more classic, I'd yeah. say. You don't have to hold the mic so close. Though. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's James's first kick of the cat here, so we're just... Well, we're just yeah, you know. I'm used to being on stage. I know. <laughs> I'm just the... Te I'm the uh, Glenn Danzig of interviews. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> you guys have a brand new album that just dropped. Yes. You want to give us the title of that one? For a good time, call these fellas. All right, right. And, and the young lady next to us. Mm -hmm. um, guys, maybe tell us putting this one together. How different was it than maybe anything else you guys have done? Uh, I mean, completely different. It just, it sort of, in part, started to make itself, and then once we realized that there was a record being made. We obsessed over it. We thought it was going to come out like two years ago. <laughs> and once we really started to dig in and just uh, like, yeah, I don't know. I've never made a record like this before. It sort of like effortlessly took a lot of effort to make something that took no effort. But organically? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Organically. It wasn't sit down in a room and we have to write this song today. No, like a lot of the ideas come and then you just hope the song sticks to the funny idea you have when you're drunk somewhere you write down and, and then it, you hope it all sticks and now we got what 11 of them and then it's time to put a record out you know once you manage to put those 11 together right? yeah exactly I mean, the, the thing is also like we because we didn't do it traditionally like it was way in the, <laughs> like in a studio and that kind of thing there was no time limit to it there was no like well we gotta be done by the date that we're out of the kicked out of the studio like we just we did it by ourselves so we constantly, we, re, we do a full song and pretty much tear it down and do it again. But there's other songs that, like, the original part that we recorded 10 years ago is the part on the, like, yeah. it just all, we kept making it till it was done, you know? And everybody was sort of on the same page of, like, and, you know, and it, like, like my favorite kind of records, like, we we thought we had a benchmark and then we'd raise our own bar and then everything else got compared to that new bar and everything else had to be stepped up. And it sort of just kept going like that until the label was, like, finally, like, Guys, <laughs> put this out. 420's yeah. coming up. Get your record out. That's pretty it's, much what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, did you start growing the beard just when you started writing this album 10 years ago? Or? <laughs> no. But it was black back then, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely <laughs> changed tones. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, guys. So with the release of the album, you've got some gigs. We know you're, you're playing Canadian Music Week. Yeah. And then I know you're back home. Uh, later this summer yeah. uh, at Sound of Music. That's right. Yeah, um, so that's where, we, like, B-Town, Burlington, that's where we learn to drink. Yeah. And we learn the hard lessons, but that's where we're going back to. I think we're, you know, we're ready to... Sound of Music, you know, niche. like, it, 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 it's such a cool festival. Oh, it is. You like, our, our first musical experiences, me and Rick, when we were young teenagers, was as, as part of there. Sound of Music. Playing, like, on this, on this little truck bed when we were young kids, like, yeah, it's it's sort of us. They never knew that we were going to come back like this, but uh, yeah. it's a, it's a but return, it's return to glory. <laughs> <laughs> so one final question. If there was one track on this album that you could say that, you know, you put everything you possibly could into it um, that may have been re-recorded and re-recorded, what's that one track? Um, for me, the one track I'm just most proud of is a song called To See Your Face Again. It's the one yeah. that, when I hear the record, it's like, I can't believe this is our band. It's one of those moments, yeah. which just rarely happens in music. And it was, it, yeah, so that's the one song for myself. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. It, 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 it was so natural that there wasn't a lot of obsession, even though there was a lot of obsession. I, it's, it's hard to, to think that. It was a challenge, so a song called Dorothy that was on a previous record, to re-attack a song that you already have a lot of memories attached to was... That was a bit of a, uh, like a, a challenge, but I think now I can't, I, I just, I love the, the, the version on this record so much that I don't, can't, I can't sweet. believe I was ever worried, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's, there's just something, uh, the evolution of it, like Sandra is a bigger part of this record, and that's, that's what pushes it all to this Well, let's other talk level. a bit about Sandra now, because the yeah. voice that she brings to everything, the harmony.
harmonies, the everything. You know, how do you feel when when you're up on stage belting out those tunes and, and playing a more pro pre predominant role, I guess you could say? Um, well, I mean, it's really fun to play. I would sing, you know, harmony with everything when I'm drunk anyway. So <laughs> it's more just a matter of holding back at times. <laughs> but like, I would just give her... But no, it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to just work with these guys and, you know. Part of a great team. Yeah, part of a good team and put in what I, you know, can do. And with them, it just makes magic. I yeah. don't know. Well, you know, I think one of, the, one of the unique things about, uh, especially the four of us, is like we play music together just as well as we drink together. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. We, we, some days we'll get together for hours <laughs> And it's not, nothing to do with music. It's all always at a bar, yeah. you know what I mean? Sure. So it's like, it, it's a hang that we've been able to turn into a musical group, which is, again, you can't always make music with your friends, you know what yeah. I mean? And so this turned into one of these situations. Where, awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks so much for doing oh, this. Thanks for having us. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys out at Burlington Sound and Music Festival. Yeah. This summer. yeah Should wait, be man. a good party. Uh, yeah. All right, folks. Blackie Jacket Jr. Uh, on Spotify, on iTunes, anywhere you get good music. And remember, if you don't listen to good music, we don't like you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>